Our pets are just as important as any other family member, and that's why we want to make sure they're happy and healthy. And it's mealtime that brings our pets so much joy. But it's important the food not only tastes good, but is also fueling their bodies and giving them all the nutrition they need. But how do you know what's best? Well, Stella and I took to the streets to find out the most common questions about the foods we feed our four-legged friends. Hi there, Mandy. This is Stella, and we're wondering if you have any questions about your pet's food. Hi. There's so many pet food choices. Where do I begin? Yeah, I was overwhelmed at first as well, but after doing some research, I found that in order to find the food that's right for your pet, you have to be looking in the right locations. Now, pet food is sold in grocery stores, mass chain retailers, and specialty pet stores, and that's what I prefer, specialty pet stores, because I know the staff is well-trained in the products they're selling, they're available to me, and I have a wide range of premium food to choose from. The nutrition label always confuses me. What's the important information that I should be looking for? What I always look for is the order of ingredients listed on the label because they must be listed by weight. So if fresh meat or named meat meal like chicken meal is listed first, I can feel confident in the quality. How come different food brands give different serving sizes for my dog? I've learned that some economy brands use inexpensive ingredients that aren't easily digested and that means a lot of health nutrients are going right through your dog's system. It also means you have to feed them more of the lower quality food in order to give them the same amount of nutrition they'd get from feeding them a smaller amount of premium food. Now by comparing feeding guidelines on the label, you'll see which foods are more nutrient dense. And for example, Stella's favorite food here is Go Fit and Free Adult Recipe by Pet Curian and she has two cups per day. Now, if she was on, say, a leading brand from a grocery store, her serving size would increase to three and a half cups per day. Finally, don't forget to take into consideration your dog or cat's breed, weight, activity level, and any health issues such as allergies or joint and hip issues. There are specialized foods out there to meet these needs as well. No matter what, we love and cherish our pets, and we want the best for them. The joy they get from the little things in life. A treat, playing ball, going for a walk. They teach us so much, and it's important we take the best care possible of them. For more tips and tricks on feeding your pet, check out PetCurian.com or Facebook.com slash PetCurian. In the meantime, here are a few fun facts about our pets.